Why hello there everybody, my name is Votesdev and in this video I am going to show you guys how to do fixed camera view like in the old Resident Evil games in Godot. Now to be fair, a YouTuber that I watched uh, their video, um, I watched their video about this exact thing and I thought to myself, I probably can do this like much easier and quicker way. And I found out a way and uh, it actually does work out. So um, I have this level ready, just a you know, floor, walls and uh, this character body 3D, which I have renamed to player because uh, we're going to be using triggers, uh, aka area 3D nodes, because that's what they're calling Godot. So we are going, actually, first of all, let's just um, click on our parent node here, and then control A, and then uh, get a camera 3D. So there we go, we have a camera 3D in our plane, which is really nice. So where is it looking? It's looking fantastic right now, kind of. So let's just move it a little bit, and uh, turn it around a bit, move it over slightly, how's this? Ah, oh, yeah, you know what, that's fine, that looks somewhat like a fixed camera view in Resident Evil, sort of. Okay, we have that. So, obviously, we're going to be needing more cameras. So, before we do any of that, though, we are going to add in a Area 3D node, and we're going to add in a collision shape 3D underneath it and go to the inspector under shape, where it says empty we can just uh, do box shape 3D there we go and now let's just uh, move this over to here and uh, let's just make it a little bit bigger because uh, why not there we go, that should be plenty yeah that should be plenty okay, so this, sh well, technically you shouldn't really need it this close to the camera, but it's really up to you how close you want it to the camera. So, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to move it a bit down here. So, we have that. Okay, let's just uh, save our scene. And now, before absolutely anything... We are going to go over to our Area 3D node and we're going to make a script and call it uh, Camera Switcher. Camera... Why is this lagging a little bit? I don't even know why, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Camera Switcher. There we go. So, technically, you should really have organised files, folders, and uh, like scripts folder to put your scripts in, but... I'm just doing this as an example, but you should do file organization and folder organization. But anyway, so we have our script here. So let's just go over to our area 3D node and in the nodes part, uh, nothing is happening. Why is, wait, do I have to click on it? Oh, that, 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 that is why. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's just do body entered and let's go down and go to area 3d connecting from and in here just type in uh, player entered simple as that player entered connect there we go just pops up like that good 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 and now let's just replace this with if body dot name is equal to player make sure that it's in quotes, by the way. Don't just put in player without quotes. Uh, and also, the reason why we're doing body.name is because, uh, well, we've got the body in these parentheses, and uh, it's just going to be taking our character body from our player and sending it into this trigger. So once we go through the trigger, this will register that body. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to make an export variable. 
So export variable and call it cameras because make it easy, somewhat easy. And let's just uh, add a colon, you know, for best practice. And we're just going to do, well, you could, you could do just simple camera 3D and you could just leave it like that. But we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to do array and then do, um, I don't even know what type of brackets this is, but do square brackets. That's what they're called, square brackets. So do square brackets and put in camera 3D. There we go, nicely done. And now, once we enter the trigger, we're going to do a for i in range. Press enter so that you can get the uh, brackets or parentheses, whatever you like to call them. And inside here, you put in zero, comma, cameras, dot size. Nicely done. And do the uh, colon here, and then do your indentation. So now, what you want to do is you want to do cameras uh, square brackets i dot current is equal to false and then <coughs> you could do the next part on the same in the same indentation or you can backspace to go backwards and indentation because if we do it, if we do, if we if we if we keep the indentation, it will be on the same line as for I in range. But you could do it like that. You don't have to. You could do it like that though. But in this instance, I am going to do this. Let's just do get parent dot current is equal to true. And to be fair, that's all you really need to do. Save that. And now, in our area 3D, we have cameras. And currently the size is zero. So now, what you want to do is, let's just duplicate this camera 3D. Let's just do it about three times, because why not? So, uh, let's just rotate that a little bit, and... Uh, bring the collision over just a bit and now duplicate it again and uh, wait hang on there we go yep so now do this uh, so now it's going to be over here nicely done and now uh, put this collision shape, uh, somewhere down there, maybe. Then again, the camera maybe should be there. Yeah, maybe. Ah, it's fine there. Okay, so w what are the cameras like? That's not bad. What's the cam? What's this camera like? That's not bad either, actually. Okay, so now that we have two more cameras in our scene, what? we can do now is in our first area 3d node underneath our first camera let's go ahead and go over to cameras over here which we've already done and let's add three to it and of course we're going to do zero one two because in an array it always go from it always goes from zero to whatever number and now all we have to do is just assign camera 3d assign Camera 3D2, assign, camera 3D3, and you would need to do this for every single camera that you add in, and you have to do it for every single area 3D as well. So unfortunately you do have to do this. I thought that there would be a little bit of a workaround, but unfortunately you do have to do it for every single one. It's a bit of a tedious task, but it's the way you just got to do it. Okay. So now that we have all of those, 
all we need to all we need to do is on our first 3D camera, you want to click on current here and uh, tick. And just make sure that camera 3D2 and camera 3D3 are not ticked. All we need to do. So now let's go ahead and play the game. So now we have our character. And of course, if I move forward, nothing's going to happen just yet. But if I keep on moving forward, we have our camera here. And now if I move left, we have our camera here. But now, if we want to move backwards, because usually, like, because you're activating these cameras, you would assume that, you know, these only work once, right? But if we go backwards now and move backwards, yep, we've got our camera here. And then we've got our camera here. So that's pretty much the, uh, the easiest way to do a uh, Resident Evil style fixed camera views in uh, Godot. I mean, there's probably a much easier way. I haven't got to it yet, but that is the most quickest and easiest way to do it. But again, of course, doing it this way is a little bit of a tedious task, but some tasks are tedious, but also worth in the end. Okay, everybody, so before you go, I literally just found, discovered another way that you can do this, and it's a much easier way and a much more, uh, much less time-consuming way. Okay, so here we have the, uh, if you enter the trigger of the camera, then uh, it will disable all of the other cameras, except from the camera that you just triggered. So, we've already got that here, but the better way that I've just found out is if you go onto one of your cameras, well, you, you could go onto any one of them, actually, but, well, actually, it's preferable that you do this on every single camera, just to make sure of it. But let's just go to the first camera and let's go over to node here and then go to groups and then just type in uh, cameras to switch to. Now you have to make sure that you remember all of the letters here because it's case sensitive. So let's just add and this, is, uh, this has added this node to this group and now just do the same. Well, actually, you, you could just write it out with every single node, or you can copy, so copy the uh, name here, so copy, there we go, and now go to camera 3D2, and then copy it, add, and then go to camera 3D3, copy, paste, there we go, so now they are all part of that group, so now go into the script, and instead of export the cameras, we can do at on ready, and then take this away, and then put equals uh, get tree dot get nodes in group. And as we've uh, said before about the name being case sensitive, so put quotes and then uh, paste it in. There we go. So now. Uh, to get all of the nodes inside of that group, all you need to do is do for, uh, because we've got the name of the variable called cameras, let's put C, so for C in cameras, all you have to do is just do uh, C dot current is equal to false. I'm pretty sure. So this should work out, right? Yes. So it does the exact same thing. So you do not need to keep on like adding the nodes to the exported variable. You can just do uh, on ready var cameras and have this. And then every single time you create a new camera for like a specific area, you can just add that camera to that group and then you it's done. So thank you so much for watching everybody. Hope you, I hope everyone has enjoyed and I hope everyone has uh, learned how to do this. I, I hope I have uh, helped out a few people on how to do this. Now, obviously, there could be problems when it comes to this. There could be problems. Now, one person I've heard did have a problem with this, and 
Uh, apparently they said um, because the colliders were close together. And the only thing I can say to that is, I don't know, either make the colliders smaller or just keep them away from each other. That's literally the only thing that you really need to do. Other than that, this should not be much of a problem when it comes to fixed camera styles in a game like Resident Evil. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, hope you all enjoyed, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.